a day, huh? It's been a tough day for the lefties and the libs, you know? <laughs> they are big mad today. And be honest, it's been a tough year for those guys, you know? Last year, the Supreme Court overruled Roe versus Wade and um, sent the abortion rights back to the states. Uh, you know, and just this week, the Supreme Court dismantled the administrative state with the, with the um, reversal of the Chevron doctrines. No more... Uh, crazy EPA rules and uh, CDC rules that affect Americans. And just today, if you probably haven't been aware, uh, the Supreme Court ruled that Donald Trump and every other president has immunity when it involves an official act. And this just upset the libs. And what you libs and lefties have to understand is this is nothing more than the physics of the universe. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And this is all your fault. Every bit of this is your fault. This is a pendulum swinging back. Let me take you back to the abortion. The reason the Roe versus Wade got overturned is because you people were online making videos bragging about your 14th, 15th abortion, how you couldn't wait to have your next abortion. Nobody wanted to hear that shit, so it got overturned. You had it, you messed it up, you lost it. Then with the Chevron doctor, you had the CDC trying to make people get, get the vaccine and didn't want to. You've got the EPA fining farmers for using water on their own land, so much so they're losing their farms. That's an overreach, okay? So now that's gone. And then now finally, with today's ruling of immunity brought on by the left and Joe Biden going after President Trump with all these ridiculous charges that everybody with a brain can see are made up and they're politically motivated. So now he has immunity. So once again, the physics of the universe, the pendulum swinging back and a reaction to your actions. So, I know you're all pissed. I know you're all big mad. Just remember, you did this. You continue to do this. Your actions have led to the three examples I just gave. And perhaps, probably the most historic of them all, when a councilman from Indiana heroically challenged the the notion that a woman can become a man simply by declaring it so without doing anything else and predictably you rejected him and just like that you completely <laughs> you completely dismantled your own ridiculous ideology and exposed it for everyone to see so today you're big mad and i think it's funny as hell because you did this, Libs. You did it. And I approve this message. I'm America's Councilman. Y'all have a great day.